All right, coming back with a uh, unboxing of a, several games that I've, I've recently got. Um, one game that I've been waiting on forever, uh, but it's a, a mixture of all type: Nintendo Switch, PS, PlayStation, play, well, PS4, um, and Xbox Series X games as well. Uh, got a good mixture of both. Um, pretty average, both like. Round two a piece, I think. The Switch, I got three. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty much I'm gonna just going to it. First game, first game is a game I've been waiting for a while. Ordered this a while back. Um, this is a throwback game. This is a game that was on the Super Nintendo that they re released for the Switch. Um, pretty much um, the game is, well, there's two games in one. Zombies Ate My Neighbors, and Ghoul Patrol. So pretty much this is an older game that was on the Super Nintendo. Um, I guess you could say it's the predecessor to Resident Evil almost. Um, it's a little bit different than that, but um, pretty much the premise of the game, you're pretty much saving people in your town, using resources, and pretty much killing zombies. And also uh, turning it into animal, um, well, creatures as well by drinking potions and everything but it's a very weird and fun game the most famous of it is zombies ate my neighbors which is the predecessor of this game um ghoul patrol was less liked by the crowd but zombies ate my neighbors was the beginning of it you know so very expensive game if you try to get it on the original system super nintendo um, but I think this was a great release. Took a little while to get here. Um, this is released through the limited run. I had pre-ordered it. So, um, took a little while to get here. Um, but I'm glad that the packaging and everything. I opened it up earlier to see why. Um, because some of the items didn't come in the package, but I put them in the package. Um, but zombies ate my neighbors. Pretty much you get both games. Enjoy 60-minute console gaming with a cult classic Zombie Ate My Neighbors and a sequel, Ghoul Patrol. A long-awaited return. So pretty much you get 66 undeadly levels. Most of the levels are on the original Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Um, then uh, on Ghoul Patrol, it's a little bit less. I think it's like 17. The rest of them are on Zombie Ate My Neighbors. So pretty much you do have two player mode, save feature, achievement, and museum features. So pretty much, um, is you, let's see if I can zoom in. I don't want to zoom in too much. It makes it kind of blurred. So pretty much you're going through levels, killing zombies, um, saving people. And want, uh, on the original, you pretty much save the person, last person you save. It'll unlock the next level. On the second one, Ghoul Patrol, you pretty much have to find the uh, next level. It's like a teleport, like a door that lets you into the next level. And you also have boss battles as well in here. So um, I guess you could say, like I said before, this is like the predecessor to uh, to uh, Resident Evil and all these little scary games. So this is like has that this this game definitely has that 90s feel, that 90s look, that early 90s like 93 some around that time so a uh, pretty good release if you remember the those times you may like it um it's not this game not for everyone it's uh you know it has that that slight difficulty especially the first ones i'm eating my neighbors and uh ghoul patrol it kind of it kind of uh slowed it down a little bit um the combat and uh the enemy somewhat um kind of it was a little bit more forgiving than zombie zombie ate my neighbor um so great games to get so let's open it up and see what you get all right these items were out of out of it so i kind of put them in so we'll look at it real quick first you get the card you know if you order for a limited run you get a card with it, so that's a weapon and the shades. Uh, kind of uh, the throwback. You see the the Walkman, the tape player. Some individuals, younger individuals, don't don't know what that is. Uh, so it's it gives that big '90s feel to it. Um, you know, I just got the regular edition. I didn't order the uh, 
special edition, but it came with the card. It came with the 3D glasses. So that came with it as well. It came with a book, so that's rare. If you know Switch or any type new gaming nowadays, they don't come with Jack, man. You know, it came with the book. It came with a book and a reversible cover. Kind of looking. It's pretty thick to this book. It's a pretty thick book, man. So it kind of goes over both games. Um, <laughs> so you got uh, looks like Jason. Um, so pretty much levels password puzzles so it got you can write items up in here great great artwork and a great uh book kind of has the artwork of the game also um uh, the uh the monsters that are in the game um weapons all the different weapons you could get um the characters in the game that you can speak with and also uh, pick up items from. So, um, you know, it really goes all and all the victims. So, monsters. So, it's showing all the monsters throughout all the games. The items you can pick up. Um, the weapons. So, this kind of showing the older zombie ate my neighbor. Items you can pick up and weapons. So it kind of goes over everything, um, which is which is great. Like this is a very detailed book. I got to give it to Limited Run for this. Uh, going in detail, you see they had a little passion uh, with this game. Um, they went really in depth with it, as um, far as the book. You know, really in depth with it. Um, so. I like that. I like that how how in depth they are with it. Um, that is the reversible cover. You have the spine that says "Zombies Ate My Neighbor." Google Patrol. It has like little purple and question marks. You have the little cart, cart, the switch cartridge right there. "Zombies Ate My Neighbors" and Google Patrol Limited Run. Um, let me put this back up in here. So it pretty much great pickup you get the instruction manual it has that super nintendo look to it especially with that red bar and instruction manual um you get the 3d glasses and the card that comes with it as well i think it's a great pickup that limited run offered so it took a little while but i'm satisfied with that coming from limited run they got it on point with this delivery um, I think they've uh, been doing a little bit better post-COVID. So, um, yeah. All right. Next game will be... This is a Switch game that, um, that I heard about and I wanted to pick up. Oliver's Collection. Um, so, pretty much in this game, um, it's a platformer metroidvania type game so pretty much in this game um you're getting two games in one so that's almost like the 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 standard for the two games i had that was two games two games here um you get the first and the second one pretty much um oliver's collection you're playing as her um she's pretty much she's uh summoned to this land and she uses her staff to uh, try to escape she's told to she has to collect these gems which increase her power so it's just like a metrovania style so you're you you're giving a staff and you're like almost like a wizard or something like that or a witch wizard um you have the staff and it, it gives you these powers to progress so you're progressing um by collecting these powers and eventually you can upgrade those powers so um you might get a power to create a block and this block you can use to uh put on switches or use it to to step on you know to go to the next level and you have powers like this you have a few other powers as well and you upgrade them throughout the game and you progress and upgrade and sometimes you have to backtrack as well um so it's just like metroid 
Um, that's why I call it Metroidvania. Um, so you progress and you fight bosses throughout the game as well. So it's a great game. Um, so you get both of them. You get the Ottawa's Legacy and Ottawa's Awakening. Um, you can tell that there's a different look to towards each game. One is a little bit older style, and then it gets a little bit newer in the Awakening. Um, but both great games. Ottawa's collection includes two critically acclaimed Metroid retro, retro games, Ottawa's uh, Legacy and Ottawa's Awakening. So um, pretty much uh, full of dangerous dungeons, uh, mystic items, and ancient secrets. So pretty much you're progressing and going through and trying to make it back home through the game. Um, great game. Saw it. And I like the, I'm all, you know, I love the Metroidvania type game, so I had to pick it up. Um, didn't crack it open yet, um, but as this video will be super long if I do that with all the items I have. So pick that up, check it out as well. Um, all of collection. Uh, you get the game and you get a sticker sheet that's included in here as well. So it's like a sticker sheet of her and, and characters in the game. So pick that up if you haven't and check it out. All right. Next game. Next game is going to be a thing my nose. It's going to be a sneak. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Bless me. All right. This game here, um, I had to pick it up. Um, I, I, they have it on the next game. I think they have it on, um, I know these games as well. You can get them on other systems as well. I think they're on PS4 if I'm not mistaken. But to this next game, you can get it on, either on PS4 or Switch. I got it on PS4. Um, it's an Atlas game. I love Atlas. Their games throughout history are great games and they appreciate and value. Um, this game, um... I, I liked it because let me just show it first 13 sentinels um easy shrimp um pretty much in this game it's like almost like a futuristic battling world where you have uh you have um big um mechs and you're you have mechs you have time travel you have a great story and you're pretty much fighting tactical fighting to uh, save the world and, and just fight. So um, pretty much fun game. Um, great um, tactical battle and side scroll story driven as well. Um, pr pretty much vanillaware. You know vanillaware. So you know it's going to be a great game. Story tells behind Odin Spear and Dragon's Crown. Craft a sci-fi mystery epic spanning 13 intertwining stories. So 13 individuals and all their stories lead to the this game right here. So you know, you know, great um, vanilla wear our signature hand painted visuals. So undercover deep story vision of the past and the future. The doomsday clock is ticking. Become a sentinel pilot. Customize your mech and fight waves of Kajula in top-down tactical combat. So, like I said before, it's that top-down combat. Um, you have the stories of 13 individuals, which you would play throughout the game. That leads to a very uh, satisfying story. I heard. Heard is a great game. Slept on game. A hidden gem. Um, so I, you know, I definitely had to pick it up. Um, I was debating on what I wanted to get on. I seen they had the Switch one, I think, not too long ago. I think it's like $50 for the Switch one. And I was like, and I looked at, I see PS4, and I was like, it said uh, like $20. And I was like, I'm, this is a no-brainer. You know, I can play it. You know, even though I like to play stuff on mobile and this and that. But you can't beat that, though. Um, I'm, play, I'm playing the same game, probably a little, a little looking a little bit better and uh cheaper so you know i had to pick it up 13 sentinels um if you're into that tactical battling um futuristic that future mech and time travels and great storytelling pick up this game um can't wait to try it out eventually um but from what i've seen it's a great game all right next game next game 
This next game is for Xbox One. Um, heard about it. Um, I saw it was pretty cheap, man. I think it was like ten dollars or something like that. And I was like, "Yo, ten dollars? Let me um, let me try it out." So um, it is pretty much if you like the uh, let me just show the game first. Code Vein, um, Bandai Namco. So pretty much this game here, if you like. Um, if you like those uh, from soft games, Elden Ring, uh, you know those type games, those unforgiving type games, but you're like, what? Why are you saying that? This is a more base, I guess you would say, almost like um, anime style Elden Ring far as looks anime um you know it's that type of game um elden ring but it's a little bit different um so let's go into code vein um pretty much in this game in the face of certain death we rise unison uh uh we rise oh yeah that's in a different language create character choose your partner and embark on a journey that ends in ends of hell to unlock your past and escape your living nightmare so pretty much you're playing with uh you have a partner as well that uh like a like an npc type person that goes with you so you're fighting these creatures and you're pretty much uh it's in the 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 mindset of those games you're improving yourself to fight these creatures and it's like it's in the the style of the 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 Elden Ring and the uh the, you know the FromSoft games. I can't even think of it right now. My mind went blank. All their type games. Uh, I can't even think. Uh, the one of the games is right in my on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. But um, it's it's pretty much the art style of uh, you know you know Bandai Namco art style, and it has that anime look but the play style of you know those Elden Rings and uh um dang I can't even think of the name of the game so you're fighting these big creatures you're fighting these enemies and you know they're very tough so you gear you can gear your character to set up to fight certain individuals so you can change up your you can set preset um fighting styles like you gear that you got equipped to go to certain areas or fight certain enemies because it's pretty tough and your npc that's with you he's kind of there but not there uh as you can say um like in elder ring you may you may summon a certain thing and it, and it kind of Sometimes it fights, sometimes it doesn't fight. It's sitting there waiting on you. So it's that like that style game. Um, no, I haven't heard of it this game until I saw I looked it up recently and I seen the pricing and I was like, wow, I, I never heard of this game. And um, it, it was interesting to me because I you know I'm playing Elden Ring currently on my PlayStation. I stream on this channel as well. Uh, but um, I was like, let me get it. So you know, ten dollars, I think eight, ten dollars, something like that. Um, I was like, let me pick it up. So, Code Vein, check, check it out. Check, you know, the reviews for it. And can't beat it. $10. I got it from... Did I get it from Amazon? It was either Amazon or GameStop. Might have been GameStop. So, check that out. Alright. Alright, next game, next game. Um, next game is a PS4 game. I heard about this game. Um through uh if you ever watch uh radical reggie and the uh and the squad that's with them that streams from time to time they do game pickups that they picked up um um so media glitch shouts out to them shouts out to radical reggie and all of them um they do uh unboxings and they usually do it on saturdays um, they play games as well, and I, I follow them a lot because they're very informed, especially Reggie. He's very informed on games. Shouts out to him. A lot of games I picked up because of him, um, his channel. Very informed, 
tell he has a passion behind it. Um, Media Glitch team as well, all of them, you know, have a passion and all bring their their particular style of game that they like to the channel. But um, besides that, um, this game here, it, it it it's a throwback. Let me just show it. American Fugitive. So pretty much this game is a throwback. If you like, I remember when I had a PS1 and um, I had that Grand Theft Auto 2. So Grand Theft Auto 2, if you remember, um, is that top down. Um, it's like Grand Theft Auto, but top, top down. So you remember, if you remember those games, that was one of my favorite games. I used to play that like crazy, that Grand Theft Auto 2. The throwback, that's when Grand Theft Auto was, I was addicted to it.